Okay, over the weekend, a San Jose man made some history by launching a gigantic weather balloon over 100,000 feet into the stratosphere. He has nothing to do with NASA, just a regular guy who owns a pool and spa company having fun with this hobby. Chris mm. Burroughs is with him this morning. He's not from NASA, uh, right. not part of the Russian uh, space, uh, space organization Doesn't have a all. son named Falcon. No, this is Ron Meadows. Thank you so much for coming in all the way this morning. Thank you for having me. We've got some neat video, a neat time lapse. Uh, I mean, this is, you don't need a spaceship, you don't need a rocket. Uh, instead, show us, what, what are we seeing here? You set up on the ground, it's a giant balloon. Well, basically, I guess what we'll do is start off with the balloon. Yeah, you can see right here as you're getting it set yes. up on the ground. So this is kind of uh, your, your control center on the ground, launch pad, if you will. Mm -hmm. And what's, what are you putting, helium in it? Right now we're tying off the bottom. Uh, we've already filled it with helium. Oh, there we are filling it with helium. Okay. And we're going to fill it to 150 cubic feet of gas so we can achieve a positive three pound lift. And here's liftoff. It just goes Ooh. up on its own. How high? Well, this flight went to 100,442 100, feet. And it, once it gets up there, Mm -hmm. It brings us pictures like these. What are we seeing? Well, you can see the snow in the Sierras there, wow. and you can see the you know atmosphere of the Earth, and then the blackness of space. This is uh, 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 um, amazing. I can't believe this isn't from a rocket or a satellite or something like that. You launched this from the San Jose area? Yes, we launched it in San Jose, and it landed probably about 10 miles uh, west of Merced. What did it cost you in, in total? I know it'd be less expensive now, you already own some of the equipment. What did it cost right. to get pictures like this? It cost millions for a, a rocket launch. Well, probably about 2,500 because of buying really? a laptop, the ground equipment. This isn't everything that went up. This is mm -hmm. ground tracking equipment that was built. Uh, this was uh, the payload package, all the equipment, the gas, the balloon. You had Nick and I at payload package. That's, that's <laughs> just exciting. Now, back here, you've brought us some of the equipment so we can actually see it and touch it. Oh, oh, oh. It, it, now, there's a picture yeah. of the balloon after it had burst. This was uh, on descent coming down. And as the balloon was dropping in front of, or what was left of the balloon, dropping in front of the payload package, mm -hmm. it happened to snap a picture. That is, you know, it just naturally bursts because of the elevation or the temperature? Or? Yes, what it, uh, we fill it to six and a half feet in diameter. Look at this And thing. the balloon uh, will expand to 31 feet in diameter before it actually bursts. Looks like a dress that we saw worn at the Oscars, actually. And this is what's left of the balloon after the burst. It smells like, it smells like medical gloves. Yeah, and... Like and latex, It huh? is. Look at that, look how thin. That is here, just like a, a balloon, but though stronger, mm -hmm. I imagine. Now, now walk us through the rest of this. What is this here? Okay, this is the payload package. This hangs on the bottom. It carries the equipment, the photography, the crossband repeater, the tracking systems. The, Looks like an igloo I picked up at 7-Eleven. Yeah, yeah, you know, it's 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 basically a, a, a little medical ice chest. Can we see inside? Sure. So this is the the brains, the electronics of it all, huh? What's in top what's on top here is the GPS units. This is what's sending down latitude, longitude, altitude, course and speed to the chase and recovery. I see teams. right there Garmin, that'd be your GPS, huh? That that's that's the that's a receiver oh, basically oh. and uh, a special receiver that has to work above 60,000 feet. Um, wow. So here is showing two APRS units. This is one, this is another one. Below this plate, we have a radio that's a amateur radio crossband repeater. Mm -hmm. And it's for amateur radio operators to work this as a repeater in the sky. And this is the, is this the hole the camera would be pointing out of? So those yes. beautiful pictures we saw were taken through the camera lens right there. And then what's this over here? This is the parachute above the, uh, we have a balloon and then we have 25 feet of line and then it connects to the top of the parachute, and from the bottom of the parachute connects to the payload box. Oh, that's it's all lined up in there. We've got also an image of the uh, flight plan map, mm -hmm. uh, and, and, and you got a lot of help with this from a group on the East Coast, you're saying? Yes, uh, Great Plains Super Launch Group, uh, near space enthusiasts that have, uh, have helped me with this project. Now, where did it land? So I see San Jose there. It looks uh -huh. like it landed somewhere here in the valley. It landed uh, east of Merced. Really? I, I'm sorry, west of Merced. 
Oh, how about that? Yeah. yeah this, this is so neat. If you want to get a good look at these pictures, learn more about Ron Meadows' uh, effort, uh, you can go to GoodDaySacramento.com under Show Information, and today's date, we've got the whole link uh, to everything that you're doing there. This this is the coolest darn thing. Thank you so much for coming in this morning. Thank you. And you just, boy, you just gave us a real thrill getting to see this here. Guys, back to you. That's pretty Thank cool. You. If we get Clever. To if we could attach Mark in a uh, chair to that thing, we send him up 100,000 feet <laughs> yeah. up there, right? All right, for updated information on the flight, just go to goodaysacramento.com, click on show information and today's dates. All right.